Rush and Itachi there. It's a very emotional crowd here at Anaheim. They've really gone for these wrestlers. Congratulations. Boy, I tell you, when you score points, you score a lot of them. Well, uh, I figured I'd have a pretty wild match with that, with that Jap. I wrestled him a year ago, and uh, he threw me for four once, and, and I threw him for four, and then we were going back and forth, and there was about, like, 12 to 8, and I ended up pinning him, and I knew this was going to be a high-scoring match. I said before that uh, if I do get in a close match, it's more likely to be 12-11 than 1-2 uh, to two or something like that, and that's the way I wrestle. Did you expect a certain attack from him and, you know, use your same style of countering? Did you feel he'd come out right away on you? I did, and he'd try and shoot in and get in on my legs and try and stay away from the upper body because that's where I'm most dangerous, but he, he came after me. He's a, he's, a, he's a tough competitor. I know that leg has been bothering you. Did it affect your, your mental psych for the match or your, your ability to wrestle? My leg hasn't bothered me one bit. It's, it's perfectly healthy now. It's ready to go. And I'd really like to thank all the people that backed me in this, uh, Jay Robinson and Dan Gable and my father especially. Thank you. Anything more? Okay. Yeah. Okay. As Bye. a counter wrestler, do you ever think you're in trouble? You know, you, you, it looks sometimes like you're going to get scored on, and all of a sudden you come back in it. Uh, how do you feel out there? Well, I always feel in control. I know myself in, in most situations. Sometimes I get in trouble being a counter wrestler, but uh, uh, I'm usually not as much trouble as the crowd thinks because uh, that's my style is to let people get in on me, and, uh, and I hit some good throws from there. Congratulations. Morning.